ناظرین آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں ریاست آندھرا پردیش کا مشہور و مقبول یوٹیوب چینل بزم آئی نا وکیل صاحب پوسٹ سید قدرت اللہ خادری وکیل صاحب پھر ایک نئے پوسٹ کے ساتھ آپ کے روبرو حاضر ہے آج کی اہم خبر یہ ہے کہ ڈپارٹمنٹ آف پولیٹیکل سائنس کے وی آر گورنمنٹ ڈگری کالج فار وومنس اے کی جانب سے آج دو روزہ بین الاقوامی سیمینار کا انعقاد عمل میں لایا گیا یہ سیمینار دا اسرائیل فلسطینین امبروگلی ایشوز اینڈ پلیئرس ملٹی پرولانگ اسٹریٹرجیز فار ڈسپیوٹس ریزولیوشن کے عنوان پر منعقد کیا گیا اس سیمینار کو آئی سی ایس ایس آر نے اسپانسر کیا اس موقع پر مہمان خصوصی کی حیثیت سے ڈاکٹر ڈی وی آر سائی گوپال پی ایچ ڈی آنریبل وائس چانسلر کلسٹر یونیورسٹی کرنول پروفیسر پی فضل الرحمان آنریبل وائس چانسلر ڈاکٹر عبد اللہ اردو یونیورسٹی کرنول پروفیسر ڈی سرینیواسلو رجسٹرار کلسٹر یونیورسٹی کرنول کے علاوہ پروفیسر سید سمیع الدین مزمل پرنسپل عثمانیہ کالج کرنول نے شرکت کی اس موقع پر مہمان اعزازی کی حیثیت سے جناب عبد التمیم ایسوسیٹ پروفیسر یونیورسٹی افغانستان اور اسی طریقے سے سری گریس جانی گارو اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر جو ہے افریقہ فارن ڈیلیگیٹ سے شرکت کی اس موقع پر بہترین انداز میں سید سمیع الدین مزمل نے اسرائیل کے ایشوز پر اسرائیل اور فلسطین کے درمیان چل رہے تنازع پر بہترین انداز میں اپنے انوکھے طریقے سے انگریزی میں خطاب کیا جسے سن کر لوگ شج دھر رہ گئے اور ہم آپ سے خواہش کرتے ہیں کہ آپ ان کی پوری اسپیچ کو سنیں اور کامنٹ کریں لائک کریں شیئر کریں تاکہ اس ایشو کو عام عوام تک پہنچایا جا سکے سید قدرت اللہ قادری وکیل صاحب کو دیجیے اجازت اگر آپ ہمارے چینل کو اب تک سبسکرائب نہیں کیے ہیں تو ضرور سبسکرائب کریں لائک کریں شیئر کریں کامنٹ کریں بیل بٹن دبانا نہ بھولیں تاکہ لیٹسٹ ویڈیوز آپ تک بآسانی سے دستیاب ہو سکے The leader of PLO, which started as an armed struggle, but later on, Yasser Arafat mellowed down and started initiating peace talks, the Oslo Agreement. And here, let me tell you that even before this, two prime ministers, one Israeli and one Palestinian, they were given the Nobel Peace Prize. Who are they? Menahem Pepe and Anwar Sadat. Anwar Sadat, the, I'm sorry, Anwar Sadat, the president of Egypt, not Palestine, president of Egypt and Menahem Pepe. They share Nobel Prize. But immediately after this, what? Is this defense? You have to defer. Hundred and thirty-eight days of bombing of mosques and churches. The entire culture of the Palestinians erased. Libraries burned. Archives lost. People being amputated without anesthesia. Limbs just sawed off, cut off. Children crushed, neighborhoods crushed. An Israeli soldier blows out an entire community, records this and sends it as a gift on his wife's birthday. What can be more heinous than this? The Palestinian Holocaust, we have heard about the Jewish Holocaust, this is the Palestinian Holocaust, is being streamed live. Internet cut off, telecommunications cut off, power cut off, plunged in darkness, killed in darkness, they don't even know where death is coming. Help the invitation of a new nation. But did they do that after the world war? No. They entered into a secret agreement with France and divided Palestine into two. 
one controlled by the Britishers and one controlled by the French. The Balfour Declaration. We will give you a separate nation to appease the American Jews and influence their politics. In reality, there was a secret agreement between the British and the French. Hitler in Germany came to power. Jews flee from all the European nations. You know about Auschwitz, the concentration camp, the gas chambers. I did not wax a look at all those things. You know about it. Jews started riots. Accomplished intellectuals shot soft targets. They are picked up. They are picked up and shot. And the Israelis say that this is what they do with soft targets. They have the priority to shock the Palestinians and they are in shock. The children are stunned. 80% of the children are suffering from PD, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Those nasty scenes of devastation, that gory scenes of blood, they are not able to shut out their mind from these ghastly scenes. Parents kill before children, children waving white flags kill before their parents. So, 138 days. The elders and the disabled assaulted and raped. Symmetries are also not spared. They are pulverizing symmetries, bombing graveyards, ripping open caskets. Even in death, the men came the great house to Hungarian journalist, Theodor Herzl. Theodor Herzl, the father of Zionism, who published that famous pamphlet, wherein he advocated for a separate nation for the Jews. A new political movement called Zionism started. In 1881, large scale of migration of the Jews to Palestine started. And why did they choose Palestine? Remember, Palestine is of religious importance for Muslims, Christians, and Jews only. And they started building settlements. Remember, still no Israel, no Gaza, no West Bank. They were all under the Ottoman Empire. Then came the World War One. Before this, everyone, Jews, Muslims and Christians were living peacefully under the Ottoman Empire. Probably because there was lots of land available, there was empty spaces everywhere. And all these Jewish people who had come in the Exodus, they were settling in Palestine. Britain and France started their politics, their dirty politics. Other stuff has told us about this. They started fooling the Arabs and they started fooling the Israelis, the Jews, no Israelis, the Jews. This nothing can justify this. It's a story of alienation, annihilation. The Nakba that has never ended for the Palestinians. So only the entire world is marching with the Palestinians. So only Kenya is marching with the Palestinians. For the world to see, for the world to understand what is happening. We are not talking just about 7th October. We are talking something that started even before 7th October. Horrific language used. 
language professors, professor and mixer. Animals. Don't call them animals. It's an insult to animals. This is why the foreign minister said this. This is genocide. This is genocide. Brutal occupation. Violent oppression. It has been always a story of O C A. Occupation, colonization, and annexation. To understand this, we have to go back in history. Chronology ko samajho. 1993, Israel and Palestine were very close towards a settlement, but it was not to be. Thousands of years of the persecution of Jews. Christians believe that Jesus Christ was born in a Jewish family and he was crucified by the Jews. We all must be reminded of Pilate who washed his hands off after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and he said, O oh Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. And in the crusades that followed, it was hundreds of Jews who were killed and exterminated, persecuted. There were rumors floating. There were shrieking cages that they were imprisoned ensuring quality and deliberate destruction of life. 138 days of burning children's flesh down to the bare bones using illegal white phosphorus. Imagine. Children coming out of their homes with their bodies scarred, scalded, burnt. Imagine their plant. What have they done? Yes. They have to. They have to pay. The heavy price. Forty four black homes destroyed to rubble. And Israel has so far displaced more than two million people. Making everybody stand up and count and call it the second Nagba. Nagba in Arabic and Hebrew translates to catastrophe. The first Nagba happened in 1948, as Pastor said. And the second Nagba is what happened on the 7th of October and is continuing to this day. Displacement of more than 2 million people. Imagine, more than 90% of the population, 138 days of bombing, 320 schools, so that children do not have access to education. There are no schools to attend. Children, misty eyed, teared up, looking at their beautiful, lovely, beloved school buildings, crumbling down to dust. Nowhere to go, nowhere to study. The generation is lost. If there is the condition of schools, there is horrendous bombing of hospitals, decimating. The entire healthcare system, every gate, every hospital bombarded. 637 doctors and healthcare professionals killed. And entire stocks of medicine burned. More than 60,000 people injured or mined, left there to die 
slowly a death of pain and suffering. The Israelis did not stop at massacring their, massacring them in their homes. They massacred them even in their hospital beds. Hundred and thirty-nine days of bombing, victories, and purposefully denying trucks, air trucks sent from various countries. Not allowing them to enter from Rafa, the crossing at the Egypt Gaza border. Destroying and burning food stocks. The entire, imagine this, the civilian population of 2.3 million is mass starved. Pasha sir and big sir, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Children, dismembered, limbs, crawling on the floor, searching for crumbs of food, searching for lumps of leftover to feed themselves. Mothers coming, shrieking out of their homes, saying, My children died. They died without the monster in their stomachs. The hunger crimes. Soldiers opening fire indiscriminately on people who have gone out to fetch food for the starving families. And there's a statistic, a horrific statistic. More than 80%, more than 80% of the starving people in the world are now in Gaza. They're going without food. Nine out of ten speaking in Gaza go to sleep on an empty stomach. Israel is using starvation as a weapon of genocide. Highest number of journalists murdered in the history. An Al Jazeera cameraman loses 10 